Hey guys, this is Jeff Parrott from environmentartist.com. Today we're going to be going over how to set up a static render camera in Unreal Engine 4. This is nice uh, because you can have a consistent camera angle uh, each time you want to take maybe a screenshot of your scene or your character and allowing you to do paint overs or show your improvement or your changes from one uh, set angle or multiple if you want to set up multiple cameras. It's uh, just nice because consist consistency helps a lot with this stuff. So first things first, make a camera. I've already done that here, but just to remake one, place actor, camera actor. And we've got this here. Just move it into place. Make sure you name it. You can call it camera actor B or render camera, whatever you want. And then with it selected, like I've got this camera angle A here, you can go in and affect the field of view. You can affect the depth of field, the aspect ratio. You can go in and adjust all that stuff. Once that's set how you want it, and you've got it from the angle you want, the next thing we need to do is just set up a level blueprint. So I've already done that up here, and uh, I'll, uh, I'm just going to remake that, and I'll show you exactly how I was going about this. So get player control is the first thing you want to do. So just click on this, and this just says we want to get the player controller on was input key, turn off context sensitive, just press. And then the target, yes. If the mouse in the X direction was pressed, yes. We want to get the player control. The next thing we want to do is set cinematic mode. So we'll turn back on context sensitive and type in cinematic. This just says when we start, we're going to go into cinematic mode, which we'll check that on there, cinematic mode. All the other stuff, hide the HUD, uh, character, etc. cetera, uh, that stuff's great. So set view target with blend is the other one we need. And the cinematic mode will want to be connected up into here. The target is the player control X. And then the new target, you can either just go ahead, you can go ahead and go to your outliner, grab the camera, grab uh, camera actor B if we want. We'll grab A just to keep things consistent. So grab A, drop it in here, and then we'll just connect that up to that new view target. And then all we need to get this going is an event on begin play. Everything's connected up. Mouse X. Cinematic mode checked. Looks good. Close out. All we have to do now is hit play. And you can see we've got this locked camera. Now we can take large screenshots and we can do paint overs and, and all that and keep this very consistent. And that's it. Thanks again for watching.